Yeah, I mean, Craigslist is actually a great way for this. You'd be surprised. But I, I actually think it's a beautiful thing that you're doing. And I thank you so much for letting us have the intervention here. Oh, it's the least I could do. I mean, we're all really worried about... Okay, guys, quiet. This is it. What's up, bitches? <laughs> You're home. I thought you were going to be at a bachelorette party for the weekend. No. I now have two things in common with award-winning actress Kristen Wiig. Kicked off of a plane for being handsy. What's going on here? Uh, we're having an intervention. For me? For Kirk. Oh, you ne definitely should. He is a lush. What's going on? <laughs> Intervention! <laughs> Kirk, I'm an interventionist. I'm here because your friends all love you, okay? Oh, sorry guys, don't even stop. It's just for me. They're just really worried because lately you've made some really bad life choices. And we think that the best thing you can do is to reevaluate. Nope, nope, nope. Over here. Okay. Over you better here. not spit you this, TJ. Is, it, is maybe look at some of the choices you've made that have led you to this position. But at the end of the day, it's stuff you need to hear. Okay? So, first and foremost, I want to know when did you stop being a reliable person and start becoming someone who was lost, who wasn't happy, who had to find happiness? At the bottle of a, of a... Sorry guys, I'm not even here, alright? When did you... When did you stop becoming someone who could be relied on? And the thing is, is, a lot of people do love you and do care about you. But the problem is, is you don't seem to care and love yourself. And maybe that's something you need to get back to. <laughs> in here. Sure. I mean, could you imagine a world where you didn't love yourself? I what guess you're living. What are you living. doing? I'm being passive aggressive, all right? I can't believe you didn't invite me to this intervention. I totes know about Kirk's existence. I know, but we didn't think it was appropriate. And you know what? This is all about guilt trips. Do you know how good at guilt trips I am? I mean, like, Kate, you're right, I should have waited, but... Oh my god, no! You're not doing this! I'm not buying it! This is about Kirk, okay? What do you mean by appropriate? Man, what happened to you? You used to be a guy I could depend on. Yes. When did you stop being the guy who was up for a game of pool and be start becoming the guy who did cocaine off a razor blade? Ooh, that was my razor blade. Jesus. Kate. What? Okay, you know what? I get that nobody wanted me here, all right? But I feel like I need to step up and say something, all right? Enough of this bullshit. Kirk, hold my drink. Look, as one of my oldest and dearest acquaintances, I feel like I should tell you how your drinking and drug use has affected our relationship, which up until now has mostly revolved around drinking and drugs. Okay, remember when I made you drink your first beer and smoke your first joint and then that escalated into stirring shrooms and going to play laser tag? That was some fun times, right? Oh, some good times, years. right? Up here, all right. Fuck yeah. But like, I can't continue this relationship if you're gonna be an addict. Kate. No, no, actually maybe this is going somewhere. I mean, you're probably in love with me, which is cool, but I can't really get with that if you don't sort out your business, okay? Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, so you need to learn how to be a high-functioning alcoholic weed smoker just like the rest of us cool kids. No. Okay, Kate, that's enough. I am tired of defending you to everybody, okay? You are clearly the worst person in the entire world, and I don't know why I thought that one day you would wake up and see the error of your ways, but clearly I was wrong. So why don't you get out of this apartment and never come back? Heather, I think you're just in a really bad place right now. Yo, can you hit us up with some snort skis? Uh, maybe, yeah.
Maybe it's time to change my... No one likes singing in web series. <gasps> oh my god, mother... When did you stop becoming a reliable friend and start becoming someone that, I mean, do you even recognize yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror? Your chiseled cheekbones, I guess you got from drug use? Look, I don't need this shit, man. No, you do. Or else you'd be in a better place financially. And your hair would probably be in one direction. Forward, I guess. 